Soft Currency Economics by Warren Mosler The Repurchase Agreements Market Repos The transfer of funds is also facilitated by the market for repurchase agreements, the repo market. Banks use repurchase agreements, RPs, to obtain short-term funds or as a means of investing funds on a very short-term basis. Banks are temporary recipients of funds. Other banks or the Fed may supply funds. Repurchase agreements are quite flexible. They can be issued for one day or they may be continuing contracts. In an overnight repurchase agreement, a security such as a U.S. Treasury bill is purchased from a bank, which agrees to repurchase the security at the same price plus interest the next day. In effect, the buyer is making a loan to the bank. Repurchase agreements may also be made by corporations or, in, or individuals. For example, a large corporation such as General Motors may have some idle funds in its bank account, say $1 million, which it would like to lend overnight. GM uses this excess $1 million to buy treasury bills from a bank which agrees to repurchase them the next morning at a price slightly higher than, the G- than GM's purchase price. The effect of this agreement is that GM makes a loan of $1 million to the bank and holds $1 million of the bank's treasury bills until the bank repurchases the bills to pay off the loan. Commercial banks often provide corporate depositors with sweep accounts which automatically invest deposits in overnight repurchase agreements. Although the checking account does not legally pay interest, in effect, the corporation is receiving interest on balances that are available for writing checks. Since 1969, repurchase agreements have developed into an important source of funds for banks. The volume of repurchase agreements exceeds $140 $140 billion. The interest on repurchase agreements is not determined by the interest on the Treasury bill used as collateral, but rather by the interest in the market for repos, which is closely associated with the Fed funds rate. Since repos have collateral and federal funds do not, the repo rate is generally a little lower than the Fed funds rate. While the trading has its eye on the funds rate, the actual open market transactions are made in the repo market. The Fed is thereby able to manage the Fed funds rate within a reasonably narrow band.